Hello, this video is for Wizards of the Coast. This is me, Hannah, um, from the Dragon's Lair in San Antonio, Texas. I'll be giving you a walkthrough of our store annex and our main store. Um, so this is the back here of our annex, and we use this for bigger tournaments such as Magic, uh, Warhammer, Bold Action, etc. Um, we have a bathroom right here, and then we have a storage room right over here. As you can see, these tables are typically used for the miniature games, war games, but we can move these um, whenever we do a larger magic event, like an SCG IQ, and we used to do it for PPTQs, etc. As you can see here, these are all the tables, and we have a time clock here, and these are some of our promotional posters from Wizards of the Coast. We plan on putting more up and we will be getting uh, frames for said posters, as you can see. Um, so right up here we have a bulletin board, and this is for players looking for playing groups, etc. Um, as you can see right here we have some of our policies, our code of conduct, rules, and I will take you outside. This is. Uh, we are in a plaza. We do have restaurants here, and this is our parking space that we all share. And let me show you our permanent. You see they're doing some painting right now, but that is our logo up there. And let me take you inside our main store. And we actually have a Magic the Gathering sign right there. So this is our main store. And as you can see, we do have private rooms that people rent out for free. They usually play D&D &D or board gaming in there. The front, you see, we have our D&D &D section. And this is where we usually put our new items. We have more role-playing games right here, more rooms, these are the party games, and we have D&D &D miniatures right here, Bones, Reaper. Uh, this is where our board game section starts and it loops around here. We have another board game section but that's our bestseller wall and I'll take you to that in a bit. We have more rooms right here. And these are our little blind box sections, little things that people like to buy, pick up and put on their keychains, book bags, etc. This right here is our new comics wall. Um, this gets changed up every Wednesday when the new comics come out. And we do have supplies right here. We keep our dragon shields, deck boxes etc. And we have some play mats right here. And the cases we keep typically keep the CCGs in here and also we have some older comics. And we also have a rack for sleeves. We have board gaming sleeves, small sleeves that fit like Yu-Gi-Oh! And we also have stuff to fit Magic the Gathering. And right here is our Funko Pop wall section and this is our men's bathroom and the woman's bathroom is right over there and I'll take you to it this is our manga section and here all of our manga and this is our trade paperbacks and we keep them in section by DC Vertigo and then over here we have the independents here we have Image and Marvel. And we, have, we do have things like uh, figurines, miniatures, things like that. And this is where we keep our new Funko Pops. Over here is our best sellers for the board games. This is the stuff that we typically sell well, like Catan, Ticket to Ride, etc. Uh, we have another room right here for play. Um, this right here is our storage. This is where we keep all the product back here. 
As you can see, we just got in all of our core 2020 pre-release goodies. This is our backstock comic section right here. And this is where we keep Games Workshop merch. And we have little things like squishables, stuff like that, shirts. And these are some FFG merchandise. And we do carry snacks and drinks here, so here's some of our snacks. And on the back we typically keep chips and Asian snacks. We do get some Pocky, things like that in. Over here is where we keep our magic. And cardboard box, we do not sell singles, but we do try to keep a good supply of the current booster packs and planeswalker decks, booster boxes, bundles, etc. And here's our soda machine. And let me show you our back office and our woman's restroom. We have a woman's restroom right here. So we have two restrooms in the main store, one for women, a one for men, and next door is a unisex one. And see, here's our office right here. And this is where we keep our children's comics. And this is our cash wrap here. This is where we ring up customers. And behind there, in those bins, we usually keep special orders of subscriptions for comic uh, comic subs. And as you can see, we do have some wall scrolls throughout. right up here at the door as people are leaving we keep our calendars up here any kind of other promotional items I did make something for the pre-release so people can grab that on the way out and um, going back to rooms there are a couple rooms where the we have some special tables that were made and these are particularly used for role players um, a couple of the employees here made these. Um, they're not really suitable for magic because of how high they are and big they are, but um, we do look into getting wooden tables for our magic. So. And I'll take a quick look around at our store again. So like I said, this is the main store and you go outside and you head up to the annex where the gaming space is.